Hi, my name is Atul. I am a fourth year mechatronics engineering student at MIT Manipal. Uh, I work on robotic systems and sensorics on a massive scale. Uh, I have, this is my fourth year at college. So I decided to come up to an internship to work with projects. I have been previously working on uh, how irrigation systems could be fused with uh, current technology. The thing is in India, the situation is very unique. What happens is, in India there are 14 million people who are completely or directly or indirectly dependent on agriculture itself. So what, the thing is, uh, these people have little or no access to education, they have little or no access to technology in general. If you have to make something for these people, a robotic harvester or a very complicated harvester combined will not work. So we came up with a system that could monitor devices, which could simply uh, give you a reading that they can understand and do something with it. This is, this is just a very basic sensor that we made initially. It has two copper rods. Now each copper rod is just connected to a resistor. I've made a voltage divider out of this and what I'm doing is I'm just measuring the resistance between the two prongs. Either of the three levels in this tank have enough water, the LEDs go off. Now there are two LEDs here that are on. But this means that two of the levels, this one and this one, have uh, a scarcity of water. When you add water to this, it should go off. Now the idea is to make sure that each plant has its own water requirements. So I try to make sure that no matter what the water requirement of the plant is, the system remains robust to ensure that uh, the system can adapt to different plants. So what happens is the system itself starts to decide whether uh, it's the water is enough or not. That's what the system is doing using these three elements. This, uh, we kept on working on this for uh, about a year and I have been implementing this on the systems here at work which we have a vertical guard here. And we finally published our results in the IPP Technical Innovations in Agricultural Research. Here at Workbench, I have never been, you know, sitting at a desk typing on and uh, reading about whatever I'm trying to tell the it, just that. I have been into carpentry, I have been into metal work, I started welding. Uh, the, in fact, the first thing that happened when I came in was uh, this guy, Pavan, he handed me a span, he's like, okay, uh, open the shed down, we have to get a laser cutter inside. So my first job as an intern was uh, to tear apart the wall so that we could get a laser cutter. Uh, thing is, in Workbench you do a lot of things, there are different events that keep happening. There was, uh, there was sometimes related to IoT, sometimes related to gardening, sometimes uh, related to starting a company. And what you do is, in all these events you start looking forward to life as a whole picture. As an engineer, what, what you just start is to learn on how to use machines and how to, you know, get through just the textbooks and just to make some basic projects. That's all you do as an engineer. The larger picture is, as an engineer, if you don't really make something that affects your society, it's virtually useless. Work, workman just helps you do this.